Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. We're going to work on some spring baskets today made with peat pots. This is part of our um, coronavirus DIY at home kits um, that we put together to give people stuff to do while they're sitting at home. Um, part of the country is having horrible weather. We're having um, absolutely gorgeous weather um, right now, which is nice because uh, it gives us the time to be outside. But we've also had rain and it's um, some of us want to climb the walls. So we did up a kit and uh, this is part of the kit here. And it's um, made up to do eight of these little baskets. And you can, you know, if you have stuff at home, you can embellish them um, with other stuff. But this is the basic kit um, to do these. So I'll show you how they're done. These are peat pots. And they can, you can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, your Ace stores, wherever. Oops, sorry, I'm not even showing it to you. And basically, I'm taking a chalk style paint and just kind of putting it on there haphazardly. I want a little bit of the uh, peat pot to show. I don't want it to be perfect. And you just get the paint on there. And then you're just going to paint all the way around. Um, I suggest not painting the bottom. What happens is when it gets moist, it wants to bubble up a little bit. And then it doesn't sit as flat. So, um, yeah, just leave it the way it is. And then you can get up here on the rim a little bit. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And where I put the um, decoupage, I do make it just a smidge heavier on the paint. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to grab the pot that's already dried. And you get in the kit a stamped piece of tissue. Now if you're going to do this later and um, you have some of um, Iron Orchid Design stamps, then you could you just stamp the tissue with whatever your design is. However, put something underneath the tissue paper because it does stamp through. And uh, so right now my kitchen island has butterflies all over it. Um, so, but yeah, put something underneath. Keep your your surfaces so that they um, you don't have to worry about cleaning them up afterwards. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting close to the stamp and it doesn't have to be super close. You just want to kind of get the outline of it. And the kit comes with um, butterfly, a the chicken, and bee, I believe. Can't remember what I did. I think it, that's what it was. So there's the cutout piece. So you're going to just take a little bit of Mod Podge. And I'm just going to put it on a plastic bag here. And just uh, put a little bit on there. That's probably going to need a little bit more than that. but And then just, yes, going to need more. Just paint it onto your pot. Take your cut out piece of tissue and center it on there. Oops. And just kind of press it down. Now I'm going to get a little bit more Mod Podge on there. You can also use. Um, like Elmer's glue that's watered down a smidge. Um, I don't know what the ratio is for that. Um, or if you use uh, the Pure Home Paints um, 
paints and you have that one of their top coats, it works also as a uh, product to glue stuff down top coat. All right, there we go. And that part's done. So what we're going to do next is the wire or the handle. And so in the kit, you're going to get um, a, some wire and some string. So you want to cut the wire for however tall you want your handle to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. God. It's definitely spring. Um, so the wire, cut it to the length that you're needing, and then you want the string to be three times the length of the wire plus some. And what you're going to do is we're going to, so that's the wire, and I'm going to add a little bit. And then you want three lengths of this. One, two, and I didn't grab there we go all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna now wrap this string around the wire and my hands aren't working okay there we go and you're just gonna wrap it around what you can do on this end, just to kind of keep it in place, is you can glue it. If you do not have a hot glue gun, um, you can use um, maybe a little piece of tape um, to hold it while you're doing this part. Um, or you could use regular glue and um, a clothespin just to hold it. That's funny to untwist already. And then you just wrap it around. Like that. If you um, flatten the, the three strings, you can get a tighter wrap on it also, depending on what kind of look you're going for. And now we're going to just put a dab of glue on this end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of figure out on the sides here where I want this to attach and I'm going to put some glue there and some glue on the sides here just kind of drizzle it down and then you can put your wires in there this is kind of the tricky part the only tricky part and I made this wire a little bit longer than I wanted but that's all right we will make it work looks good though that length so this is just going to take a second to, to set. And there is that part. And then you could, if you have the extra string, you can get in there with some scissors and give them just a quick trim. Don't cut the wire with your scissors. If you watch any of my other videos, you know what scissors are like. And I'm sure you do too. With kids in the house, you know you're good sewing scissors always end up cutting things that you don't want them to. So I'm going to set that aside and then next we're going to make the little ruffle here. And what I did to um, make the, to stamp the little ruffle is I took a piece of paper and I um, stamped it and then I cut it into little pieces like this. And now we're just going to rough make the ruffle and it's just folding it back and forth and you can 
use any, there's no, no exact here. You just kind of use your fingers to get an approximate size. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to angle that. And then you can just trim this one up if you want so it's straight. And then you've got your ruffle. So with your glue, Sorry about that. Like I said, allergies. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to just put a little bit of glue on the edges to get it started. And then you can glue inside the pot itself. Sorry, moving it so you can't even see it. Um, just put some glue inside the pot doesn't have to be every single spot as you go. And just kind of got, got into the glue. So be careful while you're doing this part. And I think I made this one a little long. Trim that a little bit. Just scoot that a little bit. Not my prettiest one, I have to say. So it's harder to do it when you're doing it on video because you're pulling it away so that it shows up on camera. There we go. Then from there, you have some ribbon that you got in the kit. And basically, I just looped made some loops. You can do a bow um, and then add some extra ribbon hanging down from that. Uh, you could add flowers if you got some, like I said earlier, if you got some flowers hanging around the house or um, colored pieces of ribbon, you can add to it. Um, I think that's what I'll do it like that. Oops. And you just... Take your glue gun once again. And there you go. Now, in the kit also, you get a little bit of this um, mossy stuff. <laughs> And you just kind of tuck that in. And you are done. Except for the cleanup of the mossy stuff. Like I said, this is not my best um, one, trying to do it with your arms outstretched. Um, I do realize that I did smaller tucks on this one, this original one. So maybe a little bit smaller tucks. That makes it a little easier to fold it and get it in there. You can see inside that one that it's, um, the smaller ones seem to work better. But super easy. And if you have this stuff at home, great, then you can do that. But we're also selling the kits um, on our website. And our website is boutiquepaint.com. And thanks for joining us.